in addition to physical examination, the following test may be used to diagnose stomach cancer. An endoscopy allows the doctor to see the inside of the body with a thin, lighted, flexible tube, which is called gastroscope or an endoscope. The person may be sedated as this tube is inserted through the mouth down the esophagus into the stomach. A biopsy is the removal of a small amount of tissue via an upper gastrointestinal endoscopy. It will be examined under the microscope by the doctor called pathologist. Endoscopic ultrasound is similar to an endoscopy, but the gastroscope has a small ultrasound probe on its end. The ultrasound uses sound waves to create a picture of the internal organs. An ultrasound image of a stomach wall helps the doctor to determine how far the cancer has spread into the stomach and nearby lymph nodes, tissues and organs such as the livers or the adrenal glands. It is usually advised when the doctors are planning endoscopic removal of the small tumor within the stomach. A CT scan takes picture of the inside of the body using x-rays taken from different angles. A computer then combines these pictures into a detailed three-dimensional image that shows any abnormalities or tumor. A CT scan can be used to measure the tumor's exact size, location and the extent. Sometimes a special dye, which is called contrast medium, it is given before the scan to provide better details on the images. The dye can usually be given either as a liquid to swallow or as an injection into patient's vein. Positron emission tomography or a PET scan, usually combined with a CT scan, that is why it is called PET CT scan also. A PET scan is a way to create pictures of the organs and tissues inside of the body. A small amount of radioactive sugar substance is injected into patient's body. This sugar substance is taken up by the cells that uses the most of the energy. Because cancer tends to use energy actively, it absorbs more of the radioactive substance. However, the amount of radiation in the substance is too low to be harmful to the patient. A scanner then detects this substance to produce images of the inside of the body. A laparoscopy is a minor surgery in which the surgeon inserts a thin, lighted, flexible tube which is called a laparoscope into the abdominal cavity. It is used to find out if the cancer has spread to the lining of the abdominal cavity or the liver. A CT or PET scan are often not able to find very small tumor deposits in the abdomen, so where the laparoscopy has an added advantage. Biomarker testing may be advised for certain genes or proteins which is performed over the tumor tissue. For stomach cancer, testing may be done for PDL1 and microsatellite instability, MSIH to be specific, which is also called mismatch repair deficiency. Testing can also be done to determine if the tumor is making too much of a protein called human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, HER2, particularly if the cancer is more advanced. The results of these tests will help the doctor to find out if immunotherapy or HER2 targeted therapy is a treatment option available. Stage 1 and stage 2 in stomach cancer means that the tumor is confined within the wall of the stomach. In stage 3, the tumor has spread to the surrounding lymph nodes. In stage 4, the tumor has spread to the lymph nodes which are outside the normal drainage area of the stomach or it has spread to the other organs uh, such as peritoneum, liver or the lung. 